Good morning. Craig Howard here again this morning. I was reading something that was really hilarious. Um, there was a tweet that was posted on Twitter by a sheriff's department. Oh, I don't know, a few months ago. Anyhow, it was um, warning drivers about a boulder that was in the road. Uh, and this was out west. But uh, the, apparently the, the tweet read... The, it was it was kind of weird and, and people got really confused with it. The the tweet the tweet read this. It was posted through a local sheriff's office. Uh, it said a large boulder the size of a small boulder is completely blocking the eastbound lane highway at Silver uh, Silver Pack Road. Uh, please use caution and watch for emergency vehicles in the area. So it was a large boulder the size of a small boulder. And people got really confused about it. And, and actually, they were having a lot of fun with it. Uh, some people uh, got on the uh, got on Twitter and said, what's going on? Does this large boulder have self-esteem issues? Uh, somebody else said maybe the boulder is wearing Spanx. So even though it's big, big it made it look small. Um, just all kinds of crazy things that that were, you know, just hammering away at this mistake, this obvious mistake that had been put on Twitter that, you know, this large boulder the size of a small boulder and people were just hammering away on on this thing. Some people were saying, you know, this defies the law of physics. How could a large boulder be the size of a small boulder? Um, is this some sort of paradox? Is this some sort of alternate universe? You know, all kinds of things they were saying on there. But, you know, it, it, it made me kind of stop and think that to God, God, to, to God, measurements are irrelevant. God doesn't measure us by how big or how small we are, the color of our skin, the size of our bank account. He doesn't measure us by the way the world generally measures things. It doesn't matter whether we fit on the you know top 10 most beautiful people in the world, the top 10 richest people in the world, the poorest people in the world, the ugliest person in the world, if there is such a thing. Um, you know, I certainly don't fit in the category of the great looking people. Uh, and I, you know, we just, the, the measurements that the world uses to measure us by God doesn't care about any of that. He doesn't measure us by the fact of, of whether or not we accomplish certain things or don't accomplish certain things. The only thing God really cares about, and the only thing that really matters to Him is where we're at in our walk with Him. Um, the Bible says in Romans uh, chapter 8, verse 37 to 39, in all these things we are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither life nor death, nor angels nor demons, neither things, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation shall be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. God says, you know, you, you could put in there the 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 standards for measurement that people use in the world. You know, it seems like people who are the most attractive tend to get a little more attention sometimes. Or the people with the most money seem to get a little bit more attention sometimes. Uh, or people who are the most exciting, you know, they have the most exciting life. They've done all these different things and they've been all these different places. And they get a little bit more attention. Or the funny people, you know, people who can make you laugh, they get the most attention. God, sa God is saying in this, you know, there's, there's nothing that can separate you. No measurement in, in, on the earth, no event, no person, no thing, not even, not even Satan himself can separate us from God's love. We are loved by God. Now, that doesn't mean God is always happy with us. And that doesn't mean that God will accept you into his heaven just because he loves you even though you haven't accepted his son. There has to be a point in your life when you've accepted Christ as your Savior. But regardless of any situation, God loves you and He wants a relationship with you. There's nobody on this earth that God looks at and says, well, I really don't want to have anything to do with that person. That just doesn't happen. 
The Bible tells us over in the book of 1 John, chap, starts in in uh, chapter nine, or verse 9, 1 John chapter 4, starting in verse 9. And it says, This is how God showed His love among us, that He sent His one and only Son into the world, that we might live through Him. This is love. Not that we loved God, but, but that He loved us and sent His Son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. Um, God didn't, you know, that verse didn't say that God just loved certain people and sent His Son just for certain people. In fact, it said just the opposite. It says over in Galatians chapter 3, verse 28, it says, There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free, there is neither male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. God loves you. Do you understand that this morning? It doesn't matter whether the world looks at you and says, that's a person that I want to spend time with, or that's a person that I love, or that's a person that is lovable, or that's a person that is just a good person. I, I was with a man yesterday who sometimes isn't a very pleasant man, very strong, very opinionated, um, uh, very harsh at times, but God loves him too. I've been with people who are very wealthy and God loves them. And I've been with people who are very poor and God loves them. Are you getting the message this morning? God loves you and he wants a relationship with you. He sent his son on this earth to pay an atoning price for your sins, to pay the price for your sins so that you could have a relationship with him and he could have a relationship with you. Don't ever think that you're not as valuable to God as somebody else because somebody's got a bigger bank account or looks nicer or, or makes people laugh or is more popular or has more power or has more influence. Don't think that somehow that impresses God. God. God isn't impressed by the measurements that the world uses to measure people. In fact, the world would be a whole lot better off if we didn't measure people quite as much. So, boy, my time has gone quickly. I hope you'll understand today that you're loved by God, regardless of what circumstance you're in. I hope you have a great day today. I hope you'll share this with somebody. If you're watching it on Facebook, hit share. If you're watching it on Twitter, hit share and copy it or send it to somebody. And let's get the message out to folks today that God loves them, okay? Have a great day. I'll talk to you tomorrow. God bless.